What is happening, good people of YouTube, and welcome to the Overly Gaming Project. Today's video, we are showing you Fishing Sim World, some bass hotspots. Lake Johnson, let's go. All right, it's Lake Johnson in the good old United States. Yeah! Located in the sun-soaked flatlands of Florida, Lake Johnson offers stunning fishing where trophy-sized largemouth bass can grow over 12 pounds. Boat docks provide the fish with shelter from the hot sun, whilst areas of bulrush, lily pads, and hydrilla will test your different retrieval techniques. Wow, what a description written there in the video game. Really good. So there are a few different species here in Lake Johnson, but today's video is gonna focus on one species, and that's bass. Let's get out on the water. I'm gonna show you some hot spots from two different boat ramps here on Lake Johnson. All right, here is the map of Lake Johnson. Three boat ramps to choose from, and we are gonna start out at Baker's Bay. It's the bottom left boat ramp. Everybody knows about it. Let's go there now. All right, here we are. It's our cool boat. Let's get on in. I'm gonna show you bass hotspot number one. All right, here we go. It's pretty easy to find. Everybody knows about this hotspot. If you don't know about it, now you do. Turn the boat around. See this wall? That's where you're gonna come. There is a spot of lily pads right here. You can see it, we're creeping up to it. You go up to the point of these lily pads right here and just stick the nose of your boat right on the edge of these lily pads. Bam, just like that. All right, now you're gonna get out. Look, you're looking at a wall. It's not that exciting. Looks like there's a road right by here. A bunch of telephone poles. You're gonna to turn to your left. And speaking of telephone poles, you can see there's two telephone poles kind of grouped close together down there. And there's one telephone pole right here. You're gonna fish this area in between these three telephone poles, right on the edge of these lily pads. All right, let's take a look at some of the baits that we're using to catch our fish on these hot spots. You got the milk money. I mean, just like it says, it's money. This bait will catch some absolute hogs in this spot. Then you got the Booyah Pad Crasher Leopard Frog. Frogs always work around lily pads, and it's no different here at this spot. Throw that frog out there, you're gonna catch some big ones. Now I've put the Echo Red Crawfish on here only because I was using it and some other things when I was practicing. This slot should be reserved for a bait that's interchangeable, some sort of swim bait, a rattle trap. I tell you, there's a lot of things that work at this spot, but you're gonna want some sort of moving bait when you're in these tournaments. All right, we're gonna start here with the Milk Money Worm, and we are gonna cast this right towards that last telephone pole. But give it a good cast. That's a good cast, it's 100%. I mean, that's like an A+. And here's the trick. You're gonna let that worm fall all the way down to the bottom. You're gonna pull in the slack, and then you're gonna start slow crawling that worm right across the bottom of the water. Level one retrieval, just a constant retrieval. Occasionally you can give it a twitch. I mean, that's fine. Nobody is gonna complain about twitching a worm. And I tell you, some of the results that you are gonna get, oh, here we go, bam, oh, there is a fish on right there. That is a fish on it. This doesn't seem to be a big fish. He's moving around a little bit too quick. Oh, take a look at him. It's pretty nice size, maybe two, three pounder right there. And he is skipping across the water. He is pissed. He's like, damn, why do I gotta be in your video? Talk about fast hot spots. I don't wanna be in this video. Oh, here we go. Put him in the boat. There we go. Just like that, first cast. It's a pretty nice size fish. It's a three pound fish. I mean, we're not gonna complain about that. Put him in the boat. All right, now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna throw that frog out there. I'm gonna show you guys that the frog can work. Here we go, toss the frog out there. Again, right towards those telephone poles. Now this one's gonna be a level two retrieval, and this thing's gonna come right back across the water. Constant retrieval, level two, back towards the boat, and there's gonna be some fish that blow up on this thing, watch. All right, you gotta lower that rod tip down towards the water, and just bring that frog back. All right, and if you find that you are casting this rod out there a few times and not getting any takers on it, just move it inside a little bit to the edge of the lily pads. All right, here we go. Now we're bringing the frog across the top of these lily pads. The fish can't resist it. Oh, bam! Fish on! That fish just jumped right out of the water, and he is pissed. He's like, God, I thought it was a frog, and now I got hooks in my face. 
And man, look at him go. He is swimming all through these lily pads. That's a nice size fish it looks like. I tell you, the frog can't go wrong around the lily pads. And this spot is absolute money for these bass. That's why they call it a hot spot. Oh, here we go. Come on in the boat. There we go. That's a nice size bass right there. He's kind of cute. Let's kiss him on the face. Six pound largemouth bass with the Booyah Pad Crasher Leopard Frog. Awesome. Let's put him in the boat. All right, here we go with the frog again. Oh, but man, right in front of the boat. Perfect strike. Boy, that, that fish was right by the boat. And I tell you, you can't give up on these casts here. Now that frog was out there. He was coming in. I cast him a little bit off of the lily pads that time just to show you, you can cast it out there. These bass will still strike it. And that's a nice sized bass once again. Maybe five, six pounder. And you catch a few of these, you're gonna win some tournaments, I'm telling you. And this fish is pissed too. Oh, he's trying to get away. We're not gonna let that happen. We got a perfect hook set here on the frog. It's stuck in his face and he's running. He's probably crying. A little wimpy fish. Just because you got a hook in your face doesn't mean you have to cry. I mean, I'd probably cry if I had a hook in my face, but look, let's not talk about that. Well, you know, this might be a bigger fish than five, six pounds. He is putting up a huge fight and he is swimming away. He's like, God, I'm out of here. No, you're not though. Come on back to the boat. The good people of YouTube want to see your cute little face. Come on, here we go, get in the boat. Wow, there we go. That's the kind of fish you're gonna catch here at this hot spot. 10 pound largemouth bass on the frog. Man, that's a fat one, isn't it? I mean, no offense, I, you know, just saying, it's a fat fish. Now that is the definition of a toad. Put him in the boat. All right, switching to the Echo Red Crawfish, let me show you how this thing works. All right, level two retrieval. Once again, just cast it out. You start reeling it right back to the boat on a level retrieval, constant retrieval. Fish can't resist these things. Sometimes you might want to give this bait a twitch as well. And that's fine. Nobody's going to hold that against you. Oh, here we go. Ba bam Oh, perfect strike. There's another fish on. And I tell you, we are catching them left and right here at this spot. That's why they call it a hot spot. And this doesn't look like a bad fish either. Maybe five, six pounder here. As he is fighting and squirming and jumping, trying to shake these hooks out of his face. It ain't going to happen. All right, he's right by the boat. Somebody grab a net. Geez, you'd think this wouldn't be that hard. We're professional fishermen, damn it. Oh, here he comes. There it is, another beautiful fish. This time on the Echo Red Crawfish. That's a seven pounder there. You're gonna catch these all day long at this spot. Put them in the boat. All right, spot number two from the same boat dock at Baker's Bay. I tell you what, before we get to this second hot spot, if you are new to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Don't forget to ask yourself the question of the day. Are you subscribed to the Overly Gaming Project? And look, if the answer is no, stop what you're doing right now. Go get a pie, any kind of pie, and smack yourself in the face with it. I mean, just pie yourself right in the face. And then subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. And hit that like button. It doesn't even matter if you don't like this video. You gotta hit it. Those are the rules of YouTube. And leave a comment down below. Doesn't even matter what you say. <laughs> but in all seriousness, don't hit yourself in the face with a pie. We do not condone self-harm on this channel here. I mean, who knows? You could get a piece of crust in your eye and that causes you some permanent damage. <laughs> Although it would be kind of delicious. All right, here we are at the boat. Let's get in the boat. Baker's Bay Boat Ramp, hot spot number two. Here we go. Take the boat. You just kind of turn it around this way. And you're gonna head sort of towards this like shoreline right over here. Some houses off to the right. And there's a big dirt wall right in front of us. Right here, big dirt wall on the right. This, there's a mouth of a creek. You're gonna come across these lily pads. Sometimes your boat's gonna get stuck because there's not a whole lot of room to maneuver here in these uh, lily pads. That's fine. If your boat gets stuck, look, that's why we have insurance. Come around the edge of these lily pads and you're gonna sit your boat right here. There we are, sit it here. And you're gonna get out, you're gonna turn to your left. See the mouth of this little creek? Here's where you're gonna fish. All right, once again, it's the same baits and we're just gonna cast it right in the mouth of this little creek here. 
This is a lesser known hotspot. I guess everybody knows about it by now. The game's been out for like 15 years. Same thing, let the worm sink all the way to the bottom. We're only at about 4.3 feet of water here. And we are gonna slow roll this right back to the boat along the bottom, letting that worm hit all the sticks and the branches and the debris, pissing those bass off. Those bass are looking at this thing saying, what the hell is that? Is that a worm? Is that the milk money? I don't know. And then they're gonna come up and they're gonna bite it because they can't help themselves. All right, we are gonna cast this right into those reeds over there. Same thing. Let's get this line a little taut, let it sink down. Oh, here we go, ba bam that's a perfect strike. There's a big old bass on the other end of that line. And sometimes if you toss it right in the middle in the mouth of the creek, the bass aren't gonna bite it. But you can then toss it over to the side in the reeds and the lily pads and the bass are gonna bite it. If one spot doesn't work, just move it a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and just keep experimenting. But this spot holds some big, big bass. Oh, there he is, he's coming by to say hi. Look at him swimming all around. This might be a three, four pounder here. Not the biggest fish I've caught here. Here we go, that is a nice size bass. Five pounds. Hey, that's nothing to laugh at. Put him in a boat. All right, cast it right back out there along the same lines and just let that bad boy sink. Just slow crawl it right back to the boat. This spot here has been known to produce fish from 10 to 15 pounds. Oh, here we go, ba bam that's a perfect strike. Oh, and that's a big fish. That's a big fish, you can tell right away how slow he is. Gotta lower down that drag. This is a big mama right here. Oh boy, this fish is not happy. He's trying to hide in all the reeds and the weeds. It ain't gonna work. And we're gonna pull his ass right out of there. Come on, fishy, you cannot hide from us. I and mean, we have got this hot spot working here. Don't try to go back in that creek. All right, here we go. Let's work him back to the boat. Now this is kind of concerning. This fish is taking a long time to get back to the boat. It's either a humongous trophy fish or it's another species, like a catfish or something. Let's take a look. Come on closer to the boat. Oh, that's a big bass. Oh my goodness, look at him. All right, careful. You do not want to lose these big fat ones. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's coming right by the boat. He's teasing us, saying, look at, look at my fatness. Come on, fishy. Come on and get in the boat. Wow, he is swimming all around. He don't want to come in here. Some of your friends are waiting for you here in my boat. Come on, fishy. Stop messing around. Oh, here he comes. Oh my God. That's it. Look at the belly on that fish. A 14 pound largemouth bass on the milk money. It's a trophy catch. They're stacked up back here, I'm telling you. Bass hotspot number two off of the Baker's Bay boat ramp. Put them in a boat. All right, are you guys ready to see bass hotspot number three? Hey, wait a minute, that rhymed. Wow, we. Are you guys ready to see bass hotspot number three? All right, you know what? <laughs> I might cut that out of the video. That's really weird and awkward. I'm not gonna do that again. My apologies for anybody that was offended by my attempt at making a poem. But look, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about Casey's Cove boat ramp. That's where we're going next. It's the last hot spot in the video. I mean, honestly, there's only three hot spots here in Lake Johnson that are worth a crap. Two of them in Baker's Bay I just showed you, and the one here in Casey's Cove, it's actually two spots at Casey's Cove, but it's around the same general area. And I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, here we are, Casey's Cove boat ramp. There's our boat. Let's get on in. And look, why don't you load up the game while you're watching this video and play along? I mean, it'd make me feel better. So do it now. All right, here we go. Take your boat out. We are gonna come down the channel that your boat is currently in, and we're gonna go down towards where it says Casey's Cove on the map. And then we're gonna turn and go up the other arm of this little, I don't know, channel thing. So we're turning around. And we're going right up here. Now there are a couple spots. The first one up here on the right. There is a group of lily pads right here. See them? We're passing them by. Sometimes there's some big fish in there. But that's not where I'm taking it first. And watch your fish finder, people. There are, look at it. Look at the, all the fish on the fish finder. Here we go. Right at this bend in the map. You see it? All right, turn your boat when you get to the bend. There's lily pads. Here's a break in the lily pads right here. Bam. Park your boat. All right, this one's pretty simple. You're gonna take your frog out. Also a black buzzbait works here. You're just gonna cast it towards this tree. 
Here we go, 100% cast strength, not too shabby. All right, bam, just cast that frog out there, level two retrieval, right back to the boat. We're in about six feet of water here, and there are some big bass hiding under these lily pads. Now sometimes if the first cast doesn't work towards that tree, try a little bit left, try a little bit right, just try it all over these lily pads. There are bass hiding in here. Oh, here we go, ba bam Oh, that's a poor strike, oh crap. Poor strike, and that's, that's not a bass, oh boy. Oh my god. Look at that dumb little fish. It's not a bass. What the hell is it doing in this video? Punch him in the face. Oh boy, a trophy catch white crappie. I mean, oh, that's an oxymoron, isn't it? Can you have a white crappie that's a trophy fish? I mean, no crappie is a trophy fish. Crappies are just crappy. Oh, here we go, ba bam Oh, there we go, there's a bass. Hiding on in his lily pads. I knew we'd find one. Might take three or four casts, but once you're on them, you're on them. All right, lower down that drag. We don't want to lose this guy. There we go. Get him out of those lily pads. Let him run a little bit. Tire him out. And bring him back to the boat. Once these fish are tired, they just give up. It's kind of like me if I were to get on a treadmill. <laughs> just look two minutes later, I get tired and I give up. Oh, here we go. He's coming towards the boat. Come on. Yeah, look at that. That is a big mama toad right there. A nine pound largemouth bass on the frog. That's a beautiful looking fish. Put him in the boat. All right, we're gonna switch it up to the worm just to show you that you can catch these big bass on a worm as well in this spot. And just cast it towards that tree. Boop, boop. Level one retrieval. Let it sink on down. And you're just gonna start pulling this thing back to the boat. And the only drawback to using the worm in a tournament is it takes so long for it to come back to the boat. I mean, they're very effective baits, probably one of the best baits that I could use to catch bass, but it takes forever to get them back to the boat. And you don't have forever when you're in a tournament. That's why they call it a tournament. I mean, can you imagine if tournaments lasted forever? What would be the point? I mean, nobody can fish forever. I mean, you gotta eat. I guess you can have a, you know, bologna and cheese sandwich in your boat. But I mean, that's only gonna hold you over for Maybe a day. I mean, you got a drink. You can have a couple bottles of water, I guess. And you can pee right there in the water if you have to pee, but... What if you have to poop? I mean, you can't stay on a boat forever. These little bass boats don't have toilets. And how are you going to wash your hands? I mean, that's just disgusting. Oh, here we go. Ba bam Perfect strike. There is a fish on. And that's the beautiful thing about this spot. I wasn't facing towards the tree. I actually turned around and started facing the other way, opposite from the tree. And there was a bass stacked up over there. And that's what I mean. You gotta search around these lily pads, but once you find a pattern, stick with it because they are stacked up. And this is a big fish here. Nice sized bass. These lily pads are full of them. And that's why they call it a hot spot. Oh man, look at this fish. This might be a 10 pounder. And look, sure, you can sit out and catch all the little dinks that you want in other spots. But I'm not talking dinks here. I'm talking bass hot spot full of big old bass. Big old mamas, like footballs, like big toads, honkers, pigs, whatever you want to call them. Oh, here he comes. Let's take a look. Wow, there we go. That is a big old bass right there. 11 pound large mouth bass. It's a trophy catch. And that's what you're gonna find here at Bass Hotspot number three in Lake Johnson. All right, here we go, bonus tip. That's right, I mean, you started watching this video for some Bass Hotspots. You didn't think you were gonna get a bonus tip, did you? Well, look, it's a bonus tip. So because I'm giving you a bonus tip, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment, do all that stuff, and do it right now. All right, from that spot, just turn and start heading back up the channel towards the end and watch your fish finder. Watch the fish finder, go ahead and keep watching it. Keep watching it, you're gonna turn and come, start coming this way. And just right out in the middle of this water, just keep coming. Look, right there, see those fish on the fish finder? They're right out in the middle here. So sometimes all you gotta do is turn around and fish the middle of the water. I mean, right there, they're not in the cover here on this upper part of the channel. I mean, watch the fish finder. Start heading back here. There's some rocks on the left. Keep watching the fish finder. There we go. Look, look at those big ones right there on the fish finder. See those? Turn your boat around and start fishing. See those there's rocks behind you? And there's some weird grassy stuff over here to your left. 
and just fish the middle of this channel. It's in about seven, eight, nine feet of water, right in the middle of the channel. All right, here we go, 100% cast strength, right in the middle of the channel, maybe about eight, nine feet of water. And look, this is where you're gonna want your moving baits. You're gonna want your crawfish. You're gonna want your rattle traps, your swim baits, and just bring them on back. I mean, look, a buzz bait's gonna work too, but this spot, you just gotta watch your fish finder. This fish will move, but they're gonna be here in the middle of this upper channel. All right, here we go. Let's cast out a rattle trap. Let's just see what happens. Level two retrieval. Let it start sinking, and then you start bringing it back to the boat. Just a constant level two retrieval. Now the fish that we were just looking at, oh, here we go, ba bam oh, fish on, fish on. Wow, and that's a big one. That is a big one, let him run. The fish we were just targeting from the fish finder were sitting closer to the bottom of the water column. And that's where you want these baits to go. Oh my God, this fish is fighting. It's a bass, oh man, that's a big mama too. See, these big ones are all back in here, and they are in the middle. You just gotta watch that fish finder after you hit those lily pads. Look, if those lily pads aren't producing for you in a tournament, then just come up here and watch your fish finder right in the middle of the water. These big fish are hiding at the bottom, playing hide and seek. And sometimes they're pretty good at it too, I'm just saying. Man, I think this is a big one. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say at 12 pounds, Maybe it's a 14 pounder, who knows? All right, let's take a bet over under. If this fish is over 12 pounds, everybody that's watching the video right now has to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. And let me know what the size of this fish is. And if it's under 12 pounds, you don't have to subscribe to the channel, but you do have to go back and watch every single video I've ever made on the channel as soon as you're done watching this video. Wow, this fish has not come quietly. I mean, we've been fighting this fish for a minute now, and he is not getting that tired. I tell you what, if this thing's over 12 pounds, how about this? Subscribe to the channel and watch every video I've ever made, and watch them twice. I mean, you'll have a good time doing it. It might take a few weeks, but that's fine. Lock yourself in a room, turn on my channel, watch every video I've ever made. Your life will be better for it. Oh, here he comes. Come on, fishy. Stop messing around. We need you in our boat. Oh, here we go, coming in the boat. Oh my God. Look at the belly on that fish. Oh, a 14 pound trophy catch. Oh yeah. Everybody subscribe to the channel. Do it right now. Everybody's gotta hit the like button and you gotta watch every video I've ever made. That's awesome. Bonus tip, I mean, who knew you're tuning into this video to get some bass hotspots. You get a bonus hotspot with a 14 pound trophy catch. Put them in the boat. All right, that's it. Hotspot number one and two came in Baker's Bay. The lily pads everybody knows about. It shows you a little bit more of a lesser known hotspot, the mouth of that creek. And then we came up here, showed you a spot by some lily pads. And now we got a bonus spot here, right in the middle of the channel by these rocks. Watch the fish finder. I tell you, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks for all the support on the channel that I'm getting. If you haven't seen my series on fishing Sim World Pro Tour, where I start a career, work my way up through the Bass Amateur Tour, Pro Tour, Elite Tour, then we did the Carp Tours, we did the Amateur, the Pro, and the Elite, now we're in the Predator Series. I mean, we're like 40 episodes in on that series, and it is an absolute blast. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't. The link is going to be in the description below. It'll probably also pop up here on the screen when this video is done. And most importantly, I want to thank you guys for letting me be a part of your day. It means a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave the comments. Do all the stuff you have to do to support us lonely YouTubers. And we will see you right back here in the next video.